Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Mats channel and welcome back to this glorious sunny day where I'm filming in the garden and I'm not inside the house. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the lovely background noises of the birds and everything else that's going on. You are here, however, to find out how do you find the missing part of a ratio. So let's jump right into the lesson to see how we do that. So first of all then, let me start with a ratio. I have got some, um, some counters in a bag. I like using counters in a bag. It makes life really, really simple. So in my, in my bag of counters, I'm gonna draw a quick bag of counters here. And in my bag of counters, I have got one, two, three, four red counters. And I have got one, two, three, four, five blue counters in my bag. So I know that the ratio of counters in my bag for red to blue is equal to four to five. Now, someone has come along and they have increased the number of red counters in my bag. So now I have got uh, 12 red counters in my bag. Now, in order to make sure that I have the same proportion of counters in the bag or the same ratio, they then ask me how many blue counters must be in that bag if I've got 12. So the first thing that you need to do is work out how did four become 12? How was it incremented? And the way it was incremented is by multiplying by three. Now I know that because I know my times table. What if you didn't know your times table? Then if you didn't know your times table, then what you would have done is you would have said, well, I've got 12 now and I was supposed to have four, so I will divide it and you'll work out that it was uh, multiplied by three in order to make it 12. Okay, I do apologize for saying incremented. Incremented means added on. It's not adding on with timesing by three. Okay, the scale factor is three is what I should have said. Anyway, let's go back into it. So now that I know that three was multiplied by four to make 12, I now need to do the exact same thing with the five to work out how many blue counters I will get. So now I will multiply that five by three to give me 15 blue counters and just like that I have found the missing part of my ratio and that's how you that's how you find a missing part of the ratio was that pretty straightforward for you if it was smash that like button don't forget to subscribe below and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss another upload but that brings us to the end of this video of finding the missing part of a given ratio until I see you on the next one though peace